Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon White. Alright, in the last episode, we explored the Celestial Tower. I think we're almost done with it, so in this episode, we're hopefully going to be done with it. And I saw what Pokemon could learn. Shadow Claw, it was uh, Croc and uh, Petri. I got rid of Rock Smash on Petri and Torment uh, on Croc just for Shadow Claw. So, let's get up here, and hopefully this is the end. Yes, this is at the top, and here is Skyla at the top. And what is this? Oh, you came, thank you. I was right. What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. I'm worried though. It's fine now. I give it a max revive. Then it felt better and flew away. Hey, <laughs> don't I have great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eye can see them. Oh, that's right. Since you come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Since the tower's bell is for suiting the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in the sun. So we'll see how mine one sounds, Mount. Maybe sounds dum dum dum. Yeah, we'll ring the bell. And the bell reverberates through the area. What a pretty sound. Emil, you're a kind of strong person. Is that kind of sound? I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Scala, the leader of Mr. Elton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. When you're ready, please come to the gym. Give you a big welcome. She will give us a big welcome. All right, so let's actually not waste any time. Let's get back to Miss Ralton City. And with the power of editing magic, we are back in Miss Ralton City. Now there was a road like a little bit to the right of the Celestial Tower, but I think that's the road to uh, the next city. So. I will not go there, and over here, we have the Pokemon Gym. Strand City Pokemon Gym. Skyla, the high-flying girl. So let's get in here, and get our fresh water. Thank you. He just cuts right to the business, like, here's your fresh water, I don't even want to talk to you. You, the cannons, oh, it's, it's like, can oh, cannons. And he shoots by himself, Wee! and that gets us over here. See, then we have to go into this one. And the, this game shows even more of uh, this game's uh, 3D graphics. Can I? Can I some kind of way... I don't even know how this uh, gym puzzle works. I think I have to like do something like that. See. Boom! Yeah, that gets us over here, so let's fight this trainer over here. What do you think about the cannons? Is it a great experience of Pokemon flying free? Next, experience the feeling of losing your power ball. Pokemon battle. No, you will feel a world of pain! Quoting Giovanni. Anyway, Worker Cliff is going to have a tranquil, so if you haven't figured this out yet, this is a flying type Pokemon, so. Uh, yeah, flying type Pokemon gym, so. Bring out your electric type, your ice type, your rock type, and other things are super effective against the flying type Pokemon because those things are just going to destroy this gym completely. Let's just go for a Razor Shell on this Tranquil and take it out. And Olivia goes to the 34. All right, good job, Olivia. And now he's going to have another Tranquil. So let's bring in Human this one because you may is the only one that is in level uh, 33 at the moment. So why not bring him in against that Tranquil, since Tranquil is going to be a pretty easy target for Juma. I could have just gone for a Charge Beam to get that special attack boost, but I still think it would have been a 2 hit kill. Ah, um, it could have been a 1 hit kill, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. I don't care too much, since another side beam is going to take it out. It's going to go for the Flash. And unfortunately, I get the flinch, but it doesn't do too much uh, not to worry about that. But... He's going to go for a Roost and recover his health, so good thing I didn't go for Charping there, because basically Roost uh, heals half, your, half of your HP, but also, uh, that turn when it uses Roost, uh, the Flying Tower will be nullified, so if you use a Ground type move on a Pokemon that uses Roost, I mean if a Pokemon uses Roost, then you use Earthquake on the same turn, that Earthquake will hit that Flying type Pokemon, so something not very known by non-competitive players, I guess. So I just decided to put Egon up in front, so let's fight this trainer in order to jump higher and practicing really hard. 
Higher, higher! You need to. We need to jump higher, higher than the sky! And this is going to have a ducklet. Of course, it's going to have a ducklet when I decided to put Aegon up in front. So I'll get Aegon out of here soon. Or maybe not. I have Thrash, and hopefully, that is going to be a one hit kill on the ducklet. Just going to kick and punch that thing, and kick and punch that thing. And yes, it is a one hit kill. So excellent job, Aegon. And now it's going to have a Woobat, so let's just stay in on that one. Just I think Aegon can outspeed a Woobat. No, he, he can't. But fortunately enough, that Woobat missed the air slash and I get off the thrash, take it out, and I'm confused now, but it doesn't matter because the battle is over. I'll probably even do a loss. Just prepare and jump again. Just 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 jump again. Just 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 jump again. Let's see. This one. Let's show us our way over here through the rings of doom, or not through the rings of doom, but almost through the rings of doom. I became a pilot, which has been my dream since I was a child. I'm extremely strong. Bring it on! Yeah, bring it on! Come on, bring it! Bring everything you got! Bring everything you got! Pilot Ted! He's gonna have a duck left. Alright! I'm just gonna go for a thrash again on this thing. And if I just hit it, it's definitely going to be a one kill on it. And I miss! And, but it uses Aqua Ring? Okay, I'm not gonna complain about that. So, Thrash thankfully hits this time and is able to take out that Ducklet. So, that Aqua Ring he just used didn't matter whatsoever. And out comes a Sigalith. And I don't really want to stay in on the Sigalith. Uh, so, let's just bring in Croc in this one. I mean, I don't think a Thrash is going to take out a Sigalith. And it's probably going to be all annoying and do some stuff to me like Reflect or maybe. I don't know, but I just didn't want to stay in. Let's just go for a crunch, and of course, he's going to go through that reflect I was talking about, but crunch is still going to be... Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a Tuiko. Maybe that was maximum damage or something. And air cutter does uh, a respectable amount, and that crunch doesn't take it out, and that defense drop came way too late, and... Light screen? Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. Since I'm only using physical moves, I, I'm not gonna complain about that. Hey, he could have hit me with, like an air car or something. But that single lift does go down. Whoa! Thanks to that lucky egg, I get a lot of experience. And the altitude is slowing down. It's dropping, stro dropping slowly. So, let's shoot our way over here. To this guy over here. Or we have already fought him. Okay, then. Then I must figure out. Let's see. Get this one. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, this is another one of the, these uh, puzzles that I haven't figured out uh, how to do yet. Let's see. Let's just shoot our way back here. Do I have to? Like, uh, I don't even know. This is one of these games that I haven't really figured out how to. Okay, maybe that. Maybe that is uh, is what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe not. <laughs> well, that was stupid. So let's just shoot our way up here again, and then... Can I know? I can't sneak past there. Let's get this one. And then go down. So it can shoot, a, shoot, shoot our way over here. And then... Do I have to, like... Go to the side on someone? I don't even know. I'll, I'll see. Yeah, I think I have to go to the side of that one if I, if I can. Let's see, can I? Yeah, I can. Well, that was... That took longer than it should have. That shoot us over here, which... We have to get this one. Because I don't think we can go like Limbo and stuff. So let's fight this guy over here. Target lock acquired. We'll shoot you down! I will shoot you down! Schwarzenegger style! Down, down! Anyway, Chase is going to have an unpheasant. Oh, that's the fully evolved form of Pidov. And it looks. And why does it have that mask? I don't even know. But let's go for a flare blitz on that thing. And hopefully, Aegon take it, can take it that air slash. Yes, he can. But unfortunately enough, he gets flinched and. The tech, really? You really have to do with that, that is just not fun time. And I just 
misclicked on dig there. I don't know how I did that. That was really stupid. I could probably have taken it out with a flare blitz. Well, at least it missed this air slash, so let's go for fl Let's go for a flare blitz before you detect! Jeez! Come on. No, let's go for a flare blitz. Yeah, thank you for using taunt. Thank you for being an absolute moron. And of course I have to miss flare blitz. Hey, I predict... I just said... I I was about to say I, I predicted that detect. So let's just go for flare blitz now. Before it's about to attack me! Jesus Christ. God, this is this was this is really annoying. And Flare Blitz isn't going to take out an unfortunate enough egg on Ghost Sound. So let's bring in Petri on this one since I don't think old Rosie can outspeed uh, on Pheasants. Let's just go for the ancient power. And yeah, it outspeeds Petri, so Rosie wouldn't have been able to outspeed that this on Pheasant. Maybe she could have taken an air slash, but I just wanted to be on the safe side, and Petri was on the safe side. Oh! A lot of experience! What?! I missed the target. Yes, you did. You missed the target very much, very hard. So let's just go ahead and use a revive on, uh, on Aegon. And then... <laughs> misclick there. Let's use that fresh water that we got in the beginning and not waste any, like, hyper potions and such. Since I want to have Aegon back at full health, I think there's only like one trainer left before the gym leader, and he's right over here. So let's just go ahead and fight him. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose. It's impossible that I can lose to such a... such a... trainer. Arnold! Speaking of... Schwarzenegger? Here he's... here... This is not Schwarzenegger. What am I even trying to say here? So let's get out of here. And let's bring in... Uh, Croc, since, Cro since Croc punched Crunch. Wah, well, Pax Crunch. I can easily, like, either one one hit or two hit KO this thing. Amnesia. Eh, not to worry at all. Let's just go for that Crunch on this thing. Let's see. Oh! That was too close to be true. And Crunch is going to take out the Swoobat, so whoa! Yeah, I'm on 35. Awesome sauce. Sorry for that. Minor interruption, and Aegon grew to level 35. Pretty awesome, muscle learn Taunt, which. Nah, I don't think it's too great in game. In competitive play, it's actually a pretty good move. So I defeated Arnold the Macho Man. And what is this? Aegon is evolving? What is going on here? Oh yeah, finally it's evolving. Oh yeah! Just look at that grin. Just look at that badass grin. Darmanitan Harmor Arm. Okay, why not? Let's get rid of the... Uh, Dig since I haven't used Dig. Since Hammer Arm, I think it's a 120 base power fighting type move, so why not? And let's check out our newly evolved Aegon, also called Darmanitan. So let's see. Uh, let's see. 107 attack, that's amazing. Sheer Force removes added effects to increase move damage. I. Yeah, that, uh, that removes uh, Flare Blitz's uh, chance of uh, uh, getting a burn, which it can actually get. It's, it still gets uh, recoil damage, but it will not be able to burn, but the power is... I think uh, it's power up by 1.5 times the moves that has added effects. I don't know if... If it does it with hammer arm, that it doesn't lose any speed. Okay, it's only 100 power, only, only, but... Fuck, it was 120, but it's 100. But I still think... Now Egon is uh, just a... A very powerful monster. So let's actually put Rosie up in front now. So f now we got our second final evolution Pokemon. So let's just shoot this kind of through the Ring of Doom. And get shoot this cannon through the other two rings of doom. 
And that shoots us over here. And <laughs> we just shot ourselves in the wall. Wouldn't wouldn't I get like really hurt there? But that gets us up to Skyla over here. And uh, I'm going to end off the episode right here because I want to go and heal up before I take her on. So I'm going to do that off screen. So I think you can like go here. Yeah, and that shoots us. Shoots you all the way back to the beginning. So I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a rating. Feel free to leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time when we're going to be taking on Skyla, the gym leader of Mr. Elton City. See you guys then. Hey, door.